Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain a new topic, Pelton wheel. See, Pelton wheel are one type of water turbine. See, water turbine means what? The kinetic energy and potential energy of the water, it will be converted into mechanical energy in Pelton wheel. See, Pelton wheel are high head and low discharge type of uh, impulsive turbine. In my previous video, I told you what I mean by impulsive turbine. Here, high head means what? The level of water from the ground to the top. As the head increases, the pressure of the water will increases, which in turn increases the, the mechanical energy. Okay. See, the Pelton will mainly consist of a number of parts like a nozzle, which is provided with the needle. And see here, in case of Pelton wheel, the blades are in the form of what? Cup-like structure. That's why it is called as a Pelton cups and the pelton cups are connected to the pelton wheel okay see this is the pump casing part the main purpose of pump casing part is to it protects the the inner parts of the pelton wheel from the external disturbances see in case of pelton wheel what happens is see a water from a high head source it has to be passed in the nozzle See here, water from the high head source means what? The pressure of the water will be very high. When that high pressure water it passes through the nozzle part, here what happens? Expansion phenomena will take place. So that at the end you will get a what? A high velocity jet of water. And see here, nozzle is provided with a, a needle. See the main purpose of this needle is to what? It controls the flow of water in the nozzle. See, by moving the needle in a forward direction, you can decrease the flow of water. By moving needle in a backward direction, you can increase the flow of water in the nozzle. Okay. Now, see, when that water with a high velocity, when it strikes the turbine blades, means what the Pelton cups, what will happen? That kinetic energy of the water, it will be absorbed by the Pelton cups. And Pelton cups will make a rotational motion. See, Pelton cups are again connected to the what? Pelton wheel. See, if Pelton cups make a rotational motion, what about Pelton wheel? Pelton wheel also make a rotational motion. Isn't it? See, that's why the mechanical energy will be generated. And again, these uh, Pelton wheel are again connected to the what? The generator part by using a shaft. So that, that again mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. Okay. So, we can generate a large amount of electricity by using the Pelton wheel. Okay. So, at the beginning, I told you the Pelton wheel, it is mainly provided with the blades which are in the form of what? Cup-like structure. See, this is what the actual Pelton wheel which is provided with the Pelton cups. Okay. So, you just go through the structure of this uh, winch or blades. It is in the form of what? Cup-like structure. When water with a high velocity, when it strikes these cups, what will happen? The cups will make a rotational motion. So that the cups are connected to the, again, the Pelton wheel. The wheel also make a rotational motion. Next one, Francis turbine. Francis turbine is a reaction type of water turbine. And it is a medium head reaction turbine in which the water flows radially inwards. See, it is mainly provided with the, a spiral casing part, that is outer enclosure which protects the, the inner parts of the turbine and it is provided with the two types of blades, one is guide blade, another one is what, a runner blade. See, guide blades are which are again uh, connected to the guide wheel. See, the guide, wheel, guide blade guides the water to fall on the runner blade and guide blades are provided on the circumference of the inner ring of an what that is runner blade okay now draft tube see here one end of the draft tube it is connected to the what the turbine shaft part another end it will be connected to the tail race see the low pressure water which is available at the shaft it will be discharged to the tail race see here when a high pressure water when it falls on the guide blade the guide blade guides the water to fall on the moving blade 
or a runner blade here what will happen the high pressure will be converted into high velocity that kinetic energy will be absorbed by the what that is a runner blade and it will make a rotational motion so that the mechanical energy will be generated at the end you are having a what low pressure water that low pressure water will be discharged to the what tail race by using a draft tube okay see this is what the blades in case of uh, that is uh, francis turbine see here these are what that is the guide blades and here there it is these are what we call as a runner blade okay see this is what the actual uh, francis turbine the last one that is keplon turbine see keplon turbine is a reaction type of water turbine which is having a low pressure head and the water flows axially see the all the parts of keplon turbine those are uh, similar to francis turbine except uh, runner blade and draft tube see the runner blade in case of a keplon turbine it is in the form of what propeller of a ship and the draft tube it is a hell shaped draft tube in which one end will be connected to the shaft another end will be connected to the what tail race it will discharge the low pressure water to the tail race see when a water with a high pressure when it falls on the guide blade guide blade guides the water to flow on the that is a runner blade see in case of runner blade it will absorb the kinetic energy and it will make a rotational motion which in turn generates the mechanical energy at the end you are getting a what low pressure water it will be discharged to the tail race by using a l shaped draft tube as i told you earlier the in case of a keplon turbines the runner blades they are in the form of what propeller of a shaft you just uh, uh, look into this uh, the shape of the the vanes the blades you will get it they look like a that is propeller of a shaft okay see for notes you just go through the slides and uh, you copy from the slides so this is expansion in nozzle uh, that is theory part the type of types of turbines then the water turbines uh, theory part classification of turbines this is a pelton wheel explanation this is a, this is a francis turbine explanation see this belongs to keplon turbine okay see if you like this video please share it with your with your friends don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will get a notification when i upload my next video thank you